Danielle, throughout the whole time of me knowing you, you've changed my life for the better. I'll always love you for that. I always want to be here for you, and I absolutely love you. Alex, <laughs> who knew a group project four years ago would become a friendship, a relationship, and now a partnership? I am so thankful to have you in my life. From, from date nights in Old Town at the social to trips across the world, there is no one else I would rather do life with than you. Thank you for sharing your life, your family, your triumphs and your struggles with me. You have always let me be myself and make me feel beautiful every day. I can't wait to grow old with you and still be just as silly and fun as when we first met. I love you so much. We made it. Well, Alex and Danielle, having exchanged wedding vows with each other, having sealed those vows with wedding rings, by the authority vested in me by the Church of Jesus Christ in the state of Colorado, I now get to pronounce you husband and wife. Alex, you may now kiss your bride. Five years ago, when I first met Danny, we made this pact that we were going to be single forever. And then, a couple months later, here's Alex. And I said, oh no, are you breaking my pact? Then I met Alex, and everything was all better. I am just really grateful and proud to know both of you. Um, just keep God in the center between you. Um, I mean, you guys already shine God's light, um, just individually and then also collectively. So Alex, thank you for asking me to be your best man. <laughs> it's an honor for me to be standing here, but actually I secretly hate you for making me do this. <laughs> so Danny, you were very lucky. Alex is a rare breed. Know that he will love you unconditionally with his full heart, soul, mind, and spirit for the rest of his life. Please raise your glasses and let's toast to the happy couple, Mr. and Mrs. Alex Crittenden. Last week, I was cleaning the house. It's a project that Daniel did when he was eight. So I'm just gonna read this. Sometimes you get discouraged because I'm so small and always leave my fingerprints on furniture and walls. But every day I'm growing, I'll be all grown up someday and all those tiny handprints will surely fade away. So here's my final handprint, just so you can recall exactly how my fingers look when I was very small. It was beautiful, so I showed it to mom, and she was cutting onions. <laughs> so that must be why we all started to tear eye, but it was the onions. But to Danielle and Alex, we love you, and all the best, and God bless your, your uh, marriage. <laughs> 